picture this it's friday at 4 26 and this is my first cup of coffee crazy right anyways get ready with me for some weekend fun and activities let's go the harsh reality of this whole entire thing is i am extremely tired i um had a productive day at work and this is what production looks like we had a training that they said would take three hours to complete regarding our new pricing that will be launching later this month which we are so excited about but it took me three days <laughs> also i'll be heading out to texas um for qbrs i'll be gone for three days and i need to pack up some clothes some business clothes so i'm going from this look to being dressed in office every day. Y'all are going to come along on that journey with me. This is a hot mess. Um, so I'm excited about that. So I did what I could do, but I always could have done something better and different. So we'll see how that goes. But for right now, I'm gonna hop in the shower, um, refresh myself, and then come back to you to begin this makeup. Let's go. The other day, I started watching Love Island again. Do you know what this is? Do you Do you know what this is? y'all a vpn is literally how i live life it's how i book tickets it's how i booked my beyonce tickets when i went to london a vpn is how you do anything on the web when they block you out because you're an american so i got this vpn and i watch it on itvx I pay a fee for it every month and it's really cheap and it just auto renews and i enjoy myself so recommend 10 out of 10. all right so as you all can see i done got out the shower and did something to my hair. So the gag is I was getting ready to go with my mom to this little jazz festival concert and it's Lanny and it rained us out. So I'm gonna go give me some crab legs. I'm still gonna take y'all along on the journey with me, but give myself a solo date night. Let's see how this goes. <clears throat> it's crabs. <laughs> Just an excessive heat warning, Austin to San Antonio. Can we be so for real? I'll be heading down to Austin, Texas. And the last thing that I need is to be there during an excessive heat warning. Like, I get it's hot. It's Texas, baby. You know, they gotta, they gotta do everything big. I just would really respect if the temperatures were just a normal hot. 105 degrees. So, like, make it make sense. Here go Tim. Let's get into this makeup. Oh, my God. Sidetrack. So, I went in with the Milk Hydro Grip Jelly. Just to set my face really fast, let that dry in. But baby, I get so sidetracked. You know, I have a goal. Like, Martin had a dream, but I have a goal. I wouldn't say I'm much of a dreamer. One time somebody prophesied to me and they said, daughter, whatever you see, you can have. If you see it, you can have it. If you don't see it, you can't have it. Morphe, study spray, and my Morphe M6. And I be seeing a lot of stuff. Sometimes I'd be like, mm, I don't even want that so i had to use discernment i was praying for discernment got it got it real good too feel me i feel like now my thoughts are a little bit more filtered and things are a little bit more clear so i want to be able though to just dream again freely i remember being young and dreaming i want to dare to dream again like i remember you know, being young and dreaming about things like traveling before i got to the point of traveling internationally i used to dream lavishly about it I took my first trip out the country 2013 and I will never forget this trip I was actually studying Japanese and uh, I know you lying let me call you back I'm finishing a video Don't hey, hey Miss Jen I'm gonna make up yes I gotta finish she's so annoying hey girl <laughs> get off my phone like I was saying they were letting people that had studied Japanese for two plus years in high school go on the trip. And so I took Spanish for a while. I was terrible at Spanish, still am, and I kept failing. And so this was make or break. Like either I'm gonna pass Japanese or I'm not gonna be able to graduate on time. Cause my high school, it was a requirement that you take a foreign language class. So I ended up liking it, stayed with it. And I went to Japan my junior year of high school. It opened my eyes to literally things that I had dreamt about. It opened my eyes to diversity, it opened my eyes to culture, and it really broadened my horizon to the point of no return. From then, I've been to eight another countries and a couple of countries I've gone to multiple times. So, I love traveling. Will I say that I'm at the point where I'm tired of traveling? 
no. I used to like solo traveling. I did that for a while and it's fun. But having that camaraderie and being able to actually travel outside of the US with Americans and indulge in the, like other cultures is something that you literally, you can't even make up. You just have to do it. So 10 out of 10 I recommend. But that kicked off my, my journey of dreaming and, and actually not just dreaming, but doing things to get the things that I dreamt about. So that's been my whole journey in life, um, daring to dream. But I wanna get back to what that looks like. Actually using this Morphe Micro Brow Pencil in the color Chocolate Mousse, amazing. I just take this and fill it in. Dare to dream again, dare to have a vision, write it out, make it plain, and chase towards it. Like what does it mean to be almost 30? What does it mean to be 30? I guess I just never realized what that looked like. It's midway, almost three fourths way through this the year. Like we're almost in 2024, baby. But I don't ever think it's too late. It's never too late to sit down and dream. It's never too late to reevaluate your goals. And also what I've learned in life is it's never too late to pivot. Sometimes we feel stuck, especially like listening to old people's stories. I don't want to say old people, Lord help me. But listening to stories of people that are wiser than me, sometimes they feel stuck. And they've gotten to this point of no failure, right? What is life without failure? We look at failure as such a negative word. Like there's so much negative connotation behind the word fail. And failure just means to me, room and chance to pivot and grow. Room to get better. Failing as an adult, hopefully you're falling back on something. Like of course, if it's the nitty gritty, you know what I mean? You may not be in a position to really just like drop the ball. I get it. Of course, have those reservations and make sure that you're good. Nobody wants to struggle in this life. But take a risk on yourself. So with all that being said, I'm going with this primer, y'all. I'm a fan. Um, but with all that being said, I'm taking risks this year. I'm taking risks so that when I turn 30, I've already taken the risk and I'm seeing the return of my investment. I'm expecting my 30. I'm, oh, oh, I'm prophesying right now. I'm expecting my 30 to be better than any year that has ever been because I'm working towards it starting today, <laughs> literally. And I pray that what I saw about this vision takes the world by storm like there's a lot of territory to cover but i believe in god period I told you i don't want to go too heavy on the makeup and i actually need to go because i don't forget them crab legs everything is finished on the bottom half i'm not even going to set my face i'm gonna let it do what i do for real and i'm just gonna finish it up i put my primer on i'm gonna finish it up with this idol mascara yes Cersei. beautiful but yeah, I challenge you all too. I challenge you all to leap out on faith again and reset, refocus, realign as we enter into the last part, Q4 of 2023. I'm expecting great things. Not even, I'm not even waiting. I, I refuse to wait for the next year to believe that another blessing is on the way. I, I literally am thanking God for everything that he's done and praising him on credit, as they say, for everything that's to come. So with all that being said, I really hope that you all enjoyed this quick little get ready with me vlog and all of the people calling me and interrupting. I'm sorry if it was like all around sporadic, but hey, you got to get what you can get. <laughs> and so consistency doesn't always look like perfection with me. And guess what? That is A-OK. -okay. Do y'all put stuff in your bottom lashes? I'm sorry. Sometimes I'd be feeling like I'm forcing it. Like I'm forcing, I'm forcing this right now. Like, can you even see it? Can you even see it? You should be a witness. <laughs> Are y'all witnessing this right now? To be a witness for the Lord. You should be a witness, <laughs> period. All right. It's time to say goodbye. Just don't leave me alone. Just stay for the night. I need you, I need you tonight. What? See you all later. Peace. At this moment, I'm literally doing my due diligence, calling my best friend back, and she's not answering, and I'm just confused to myself, just like y'all. All right, let's see if I can make a um a beep or a rep. Oh, see, it never wants to be that big, great. I was gonna make a beat to my seatbelt being off, but I'll come back. Ghetto. No matter how you feel, speak the word, you will be healed. Speak of yourself. Encourage yourself in the Lord. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Times you have to.
to speak the word over yourself. Speak over yourself. Encourage yourself in the Lord. Hallelujah. Yo, I'm at Hook and Roll, and it's mad packed in here. Like, what y'all doing? Y'all must have got paid today. So I'm about to go in here and say, y'all accept EBT because, baby, it's giving. I need some of them. And if y'all got extra, will you make room for me? <laughs> Please. I need help. All right. Yeah. Let me go. <laughs> Beep, 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 beep. So I'm about to go in here and see what these is cracking for. You get it cracking because you crack. <laughs> you crack. <laughs> Crab legs. Get it. And yes, I am love. I'm going to love myself a little extra today because this is what I want to do. Period. I hope I don't know anybody in here. Every time I go in here, I know somebody. And I just want to enjoy my crab legs and talk to my phone in peace. Is that okay? I hope so. Come with me. Last time we came in here, they had a special, y'all. They still got it. Three snow crab clusters. Oh, for $30.99. Oh, $40.99. I'm going to see if this is it with my spirit because I may bust all them down myself. Probably not. Yeah, since it's just me, I'm definitely just going to hit the mini boil for sure. And I got a ceramis with strawberry. Thank you. He has rehearsal today. Mm hmm. I love crabs. Crab legs are just like a part of me. Call me Heather Cornell Crab. It's not even payday. But we don't need payday to eat crab legs. All we need is today. All we need is today. And they're good. Definitely said that my appetite was too big for my stomach. All right, the sun is still giving and I just finished eating. Oh, come with me on this journey. I just really have to let you know that today, my hair was on its zoom. It was giving frontal. It was giving, it was giving frontal HD lace. My little baby hair things right here, ching ching, no perm on me. Pressed to the guys and so whooped. Okay, not everyone is blessed to so whoop. They hair like this, so I just thank God. But the sun is gone, y'all. The sun showed up today. The sun did its job. The sun checked into that Zoom, baby, and did not play, okay? And we love that for us, period. I'm so irritated because, like, what am I driving on? A hope and a prayer? I'm just out here literally driving around on fumes. And I mean driving, driving, like, on the highway, switching lanes, air conditioning on, like, doing my due diligence to literally just skirt, skirt off on all y'all. And no, no regard to this. Ain't no bars. What am I doing? Time to get some gas. Gotta pump my own gas tonight, and that's okay. Then we gotta get a little bit of gas, and then I'm going to head to the movie to see Barbie.